Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and people of all ages. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and today we're going to be talking about how to identify vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Let's get into it. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit of a Tommy fanboy. I do like my Tommy Hilfiger, specifically the vintage stuff, though I will wear the modern stuff too. Now a little bit of background on Tommy before we get into it. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger has been around since 1985. Uh, a lot of people accuse Tommy Hilfiger of sort of ripping off the preppy uh, vibe that uh, Ralph Lauren sort of developed. Uh, but the irony here is while uh, Ralph Lauren was adopted by a lot of people in the hip hop and urban communities, uh, Tommy Hilfiger uh, you know, intentionally courted those same people and won over a lot of fans in the process. Artists like Aaliyah and Sean P. Diddy Combs and uh, Snoop Dogg all repped Tommy Hilfiger at one point or another. Now in modern days, lots of uh, celebrities like uh, Justin and Hailey Bieber love to rock uh, Tommy Hilfiger. So with all of these cultural icons repping Tommy Hilfiger, it's not a surprise that there are some pretty iconic Tommy Hilfiger pieces out there, specifically from the vintage 90s era. Um, if you want to take a look at some of those, I have a video we just did uh, of the top 10 dopest vintage Tommy finds on eBay right now. So check the eye above, click that and watch, uh, check out some of the iconic pieces that we found. Now to the question at hand, how to identify what vintage Tommy looks like and how to distinguish it from the modern stuff today. Now it is tough, I will admit, because in the last five years or so, Tommy Hilfiger has really tried to go back to its 90s roots. So a lot of things that they were doing in the 90s, they started to do again, sort of in reproduction mode. Uh, this hat is actually a repro. Um, unfortunately, it's a pretty dope hat, but it's a reproduction. Uh, this t-shirt is not though, but you have to know what to look for in order to discern the two. Now, the good news here is that there's a lot of information right inside the garment, inside with the tags that gives us tons and tons of information on our items. Now, particularly, we'll start with the tags on the back. You can see here that there is a big flag logo. That is the sort of quintessential iconic you know, Tommy Hilfiger icon there that there is. And it's on the inside of the most vintage Tommy Hilfiger garments. They transitioned from that logo to the modern logo, which is a longer uh, spell out of Tommy Hilfiger's name in the early 2000s. So if you see a garment with this interior tag, it's probably not vintage. It is important to note that Tommy has actually started using that uh, tag again a little bit in some of their Tommy Jean stuff. So you will have to look at some other markers. Thankfully, there are several other markers to look for. And one of the easiest markers to look for when trying to date your Tommy Hilfiger is inside your garment, typically on the left side of the garment, there's a care tag that gives like wash instructions, content, uh, material content, and etc. Behind that is typically this white little tab and it actually has a date on it. That is the year and month of production. That makes it very simple. Tommy Hilfiger started adding this in the late 90s and has continued till today. So that gives you a pretty good idea of where and when your Tommy is from. Now if you have a Tommy piece that doesn't have that little white tab, look at some of the other characteristics of the interior tags. Are they like a heavier, thicker knit stitch of like a, uh, like a nylon or is it kind of pixelated? Um, if you do have that, you're probably looking at a vintage piece. Modern tags tend to be silky, kind of shiny with really, really clear print or at least mostly clear print. A lot clearer than the old stuff that was actually like stitched in. So look for the stuff that's printed. Now along those same lines with like Tommy t-shirts. If you've got a t-shirt that has uh, this information printed on the material on the garment itself, it's not vintage. That's a more modern uh, procedure and uh, way that they've been doing it. Uh, so that's a not a vintage garment. You're looking for tags that are sewn in. Now there are some sub brands that were uh, popular in the 90s that are no longer around today. Uh, one I would say was Tommy Jeans, but Tommy 
has actually brought Tommy Jeans back and renamed the Hilfiger denim line to Tommy Jeans. So that can be a little confusing. If you know the markets that we previously talked about, you can discern between the two. Uh, but Tommy Jeans was very popular in the 90s and there's a lot of stuff like this garment right here that is vintage uh, that was made up into the early 2000s. Then they took a break and as recently as 2017, 2018, they have brought back the Tommy Jeans branding. Now other lines include Tommy Athletics, Tommy Girl, uh, Tommy, Sail uh, Tommy Hilfiger Sailing Gear, uh, Alpine, uh, a, a couple others that are sort of niche. If you find those, those are typically going to be vintage. Uh, those lines haven't really run in a while, uh, though you might find some current reproductions as Tommy sort of goes back to draw inspiration from the 90s. Just remember the stuff that we talked about in the, before this and you'll be able to discern between the two. Now a quick note about the interior tags from Tommy Hilfiger. There are actually a couple of different versions, uh, several in some cases, that you might encounter like this Hilfiger Athletics. This is still considered a vintage tag. Uh, you may have to do a little bit more digging around the garment to just, you know, be certain of it. Now often we look to see if a garment was made in USA or made outside of the United States. Uh, but as Tommy 90s stuff sort of came in after NAFTA, a lot of the Tommy gear was made outside of the United States. So some of it was made in the United States. So if you find stuff that is made in the United States, like this shirt right here is actually made in the United States. That is vintage. That's a sign that it's vintage. But just because it was made overseas in terms of Tommy does not mean it's not vintage. Now, in summary, look at the tags. Is it the flag logo or is it the long logo? Is it one of the sub brands that was discontinued? Uh, in the early 2000s or late 90s and does the internal tags do they look like they're old or are they finely printed or are they sort of coarse and uh, heavier stitched if all those things check out as vintage congratulations you got some vintage tommy uh, enjoy it wear it rep it sell it whatever you're going to do with it but you can confirm that it is tommy and it is vintage anyways i hope this was helpful thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like comment subscribe for more content like this and we'll see you guys on the next one peace